I love my dad and I just want to honor him uh, for who he is. And I want to highlight one amazing attribute about my father that has really helped me um, in every season of my life. And that is um, my father models persistent faith. And one of my earliest memories of my father is him always getting up uh, early, early morning to pray and seek the Lord. And my dad consistently and persistently modeled this kind of faith that he would continue um, to seek the Lord regardless of what he had on for the day, regardless of how he was feeling, regardless of how life was going, and admire that about my father. And uh, Jesus talks about two parables about seeking, asking, and knocking. He talks about a friend that comes at midnight, and he talks about a persistent widow. And um, they continue to seek, ask, and knock until they get the breakthrough. Um, that they're looking for. There was a time in my life that um, I thought I knew better. I was raised in church and I thought I was missing out on life. Um, so I made a very unwise decision um, to go and live my dream like the prodigal son and just live and just do all the things that I felt like I was missing out on. And um, I, 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 I now see, looking back, that um, my dad, over that two-year period, was still getting up um, early in the morning, asking, seeking, and knocking for my salvation. Even when he's getting reports of things that I was doing, even though he's not seeing a change straight away, this is a two-year period of me just living how I wanted to live. My dad prayed and had faith um, that I would come back and I would actually meet God and actually come into a relationship with Him. Eventually, my whole world came crumbling down and my mother and my father were there um, to take me back in. I actually came and moved back in home, was living in their second lounge. And my dad was so consistent in, in who he is um, that nothing changed. Um, he was still up in the morning praying, seeking the Lord. And so when I gave my life to Jesus, I had had this persistent faith uh, modeled to me. And I think this is super relevant in the times that we're living in today that my dad modeled a, a faith that wasn't based on um, circumstances and situations going well. He based it upon a unbreakable covenant that I was able to actually see. And when I made a decision to live for Jesus, I actually had a model, a pattern that I could live by. Um, still to this day, my dad will have his favorite worship song on on a Sunday morning, getting prepared for church. If you come to my house, you'll experience the same thing. God, Dad has just um, has left an incredible legacy and pattern um, for his son, me, and my sons that are coming through. And so I want to honor my dad today that he he set an example not just for himself. He wasn't being persistent for himself, but he was being persistent for the generations that were coming after him. He modeled a persistent faith, a faith that never gives up, regardless of situations and circumstances, a faith that is not thrown by negative reports. A faith that is not um, quashed and thrown aside when things aren't going well, but a persistent faith to continue to ask, seek, and knock. And I am here today. The man that I, that I am today, I give all glory to God. But I thank my Father for interceding for me and continually to ask, seek, and knock and live um, a, a life of persistent faith that now I get to actually enjoy the fruits um, of what he's laid before me and hopefully I'm living my life in such a way where my son's coming after me uh, will see this same attribute model in my life, a, a faith that Jesus is asking for. So Dad, I just want to honor you for who you are. I want uh, other fathers to be stirred that our life is bigger than just our lifetime. As fathers, we are always thinking of the next generation and we need to be persistent in our faith because even if we don't see the breakthrough, our, the coming sons and daughters will see what we have been praying and what we've been laboring on. Every generation has to, has to play their part. You know, Paul says, imitate me as I imitate Christ. And I just wanna honor my father for what he's done, for the life that he's modeled, the life that he's shown. I wanna encourage you to model persistent faith, continue to speak, continue to ask and knock and seek, live for more than just yourself for the coming generations.